spit roasted somewhere in the neighborhood north of 250,000 whole birds, mm -hmm. at least 100 birds a day over the course of 12 years. I am a master roaster. I love this sauce. Good old Saint Hubert, as they say in Quebec, Canada. Got some spice already mixed up with salt, pepper, cayenne pepper paprika. You can throw in a little bit of thyme if you'd like. I like garlic powder and onion powder. Look inside your own spice rack. You'll find you've got a great combination that you can stuff this bird with. Specifically focusing on the rotisserie in the air fryer. What I do first is I take one teaspoon of my spice mixture and I'm going to stuff it right inside the bird. That way when the spit is roasting and turning, all the spices are really getting... I'm also going to rub some in on the outsides, making sure that I get the drumsticks, the wings. It comes out and it's crispy. It's also got some great flavor. Okay, so take your take your chicken, open up so you've got everything wide open out there. Teaspoon, I'm a little bit harder here working with one hand. Give him a little bit of a shake here. Be careful. If you rub or if you press, two different types here. But if I press them in as I'm doing that, we're gonna be a little bit better off. So I'll flip the other side because I wanna make sure. There is some spice on your plate, so just make sure you swirl it around a little bit. And you can do that on both sides. Now we're simply gonna spit this bird. I said bird again, didn't I? This isn't painful for the chicken. All the way, and I give it a little tight tension here with your drumsticks. Not a lot of people will do this, but as I say, over 250,000 chickens roasted, I do it. I split up the drumsticks because the, the chicken is tied right now, okay? There's our chicken. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this guy all set inside. I'm just gonna latch okay, it so up. you can see our chicken. Perfect. Air fry. We're gonna choose our chicken setting. Okay, so our chicken looks all done and roasted. Just delicious. So here is our lovely bird. You can see here, I'll turn them in a second. This golden brown that he's roasted to. Check that out. And I'll flip it over. You see, just those extra few minutes were fantastic. He's perfectly roasted and seasoned. I am going to let it rest now for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to prepare all of our other dishes. We've got our sweet potato fries tonight. We have our special barbecue sauce, of course. Garlic aioli mayo. Okay, so I'm just going to take the spit out right now. It's going to be extremely hot, so while you're taking the spit out, if you were using an air fryer or on your barbecue with a rotisserie or in your oven with a rotisserie, just be careful. And we'll take that out. Now, I also have what I call restaurant hands or kitchen hands. These have been burned and scalded so much, I don't feel pain anymore, unfortunately. And I still have a tender touch, but we can just give that a yank outside. And then we'll give this guy Another little yank, because that's in there quite nicely. Take that out. Great. Perfect. It smells delicious. It looks juicy as ever. Now, as I say, restaurant hands. I can break this into four hoarders in a few seconds uh, and not feel any sort of pain, but I'm going to show you with a knife so it's a little bit easier on your hands. You don't burn yourself. It's a special treat tonight. We're going to be saving all of the bones from this chicken and we're gonna make a fantastic chicken broth. You can also check on my channel for that recipe. Okay, I know I promised you I was gonna show you how to slice this chicken with a knife, but these restaurant hands, they haven't been used and burned in a while. So I really wanna get in there and show you how we used to do it back. Uh, this would be going back 25 years, 35 years ago, even into the 80s and 90s. That's how, that's how long back I was, uh, I was breaking chicken. Anyways, if your hands can absorb it, if not, simply, Pull the drumstick aside, take a knife, slice down, drumstick aside, slice down, you've got the legs, and then right through the breast piece. Some would say slice it right in half first, and then split them, you could do that. Either way you wanna go about it, it's up to you, it's your kitchen, you can't make any mistakes. Take your bird, thumb inside, now that feels good to have the heat there again, simply gonna break off, and there's your nice beautiful leg. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Oof. Set that guy aside, turn him around, again, thumb has to go in, right up, right up and underneath that drumstick. Simply insert down and pull, oh, see how hot that is? That actually got my hand a little bit, but that's okay. Check out that, another fantastic looking drumstick. Set that guy aside. I still even remember, I'll show you in a second, I still remember how to plate the double leg special. Tuesday night was $7.99 for double legs, fries, coleslaw, and a bun. Don't forget the bun. Anyways, now you do have your two chicken breasts that are left out here. Now, what you can do on this one, a little bit harder 
but if I were to simply insert my thumbs, I'm gonna tell you where I'm inserting my thumbs, but you're inserting, <laughs> I just said it by mistake. Anyways, you're inserting your thumbs all the way in, I can't say that. And then you're gonna split apart as best you can. Now, that's gonna be really hot inside. So, yeah. like, again, you can use a knife, watch yourself right through the breastbone up there, one chop and be firm with it all the way down. Make sure you've got it on the other side, again, all the way down. And once you've broken through that breastplate, you're simply gonna split them apart. And now you've got two great quarter chicken breast. We used to call them number two. Leg was number one. So it looks like, there we go, separated into four quarters. So when we used to serve this back in the day in the restaurants, we always used to have the drumstick facing out. And this was the biggest part of the leg. So we always used to have that facing out, drumstick out. When we would serve a number two, the breast, we would have the biggest part of the chicken facing out right there, which is a big breast. <laughs> anyway, let's get this plated up. Hopefully you liked what you saw on how to roast a chicken. If you have any questions, feel free, add it in the comments below. And don't forget, please like, comment, subscribe, and share all your friends. We can roast chickens together, pair it up with our vinaigrette coleslaw. We've got our barbecue sauce and our sweet potato fry recipe, which you can find all on the channel. Uncle Drew out. Boom. Okay, I think it's time for us to give this one a taste. Now this is the favorite part of them all. Mm. Mm. This is fantastic. Ah, uh, je me souviens, I remember. Okay guys, I promised you a little extra bonus coverage here on how to debone a chicken. Three quarters left because we're gonna use, some will say the carcass, you wanna say but we're gonna be using all the bones here to make a fantastic chicken broth. Anyways, this is after years of experience of deboning a chicken. Quickest way, we used to have contests in the restaurant, all of us working in the kitchen. Um, contests, who could debone chicken the fastest? Now, I haven't tried this in years in terms of my speed, but I used to be pretty, pretty quick. Step one, thumb inside here with the drumstick, simply break it off. Now you've got that, because remember, we wanna preserve this chicken as well. We're gonna eat this in the next couple of days. We wanna keep this as intact as possible. So if you feel here on the leg, you can remove a little bit of the skin if you wish. Right underneath the thigh, if you can slide your thumb, you can watch me here. Slide your thumb right under the thigh and it loosens up that big piece, okay? We all know that big piece of dark meat, it's really nice. So once we've got that out there, if we squeeze it out and now we can simply pull the bone, we can still keep the fairly big size of the thigh intact, okay? We'll set that guy aside. I wanna keep this as well, so that's a good, that's a good bone we're gonna be using for the broth later on. Okay, now, drumstick. All you simply have to do is around the bottom of it, pull up, I'm gonna put it down, clean bone, just like that. Also, one extra one, always make sure, back in, and you get this, some people will call it the gristle, I'll show you here. Pull this out, and then, it's not a wishbone here, but you've always got to be careful when you're taking this one out. It doesn't break, so you do have that nice piece right there. You have trick-or-treaters at the door. Trick-or-treat! Happy Halloween to you! Quick wash! We did one leg. Now, I'll show you the breast as well. So you can simply snap off the wing like that. Keep that aside, because some people really like to do that. So now, I don't want to tell you what this is that we're snapping off right here, but let's snap that off, put that aside. Now, underneath the breastplate here, see this little guy right here? There's a little bone, okay? So you can wiggle it around a little bit, just make sure that it's out there and loose. Underneath the chicken, you can see right here where the bone is. So what we're gonna do is insert our thumb. So I've got one thumb going in, I've got the other thumb pulling. So I'm gonna be pulling away at the same time. And then I slide my thumb all the way down and I break everything off that needs to. And then simply at that point, I'm gonna separate and pull. This guy goes in our bone. Now, we come back in and we make sure if the bone, I already know where the bone is, but if the bone did not come out at the same time, I'm gonna be checking right underneath the bottom of the breast to make sure that little guy is gone, okay? Now, we do have a beautiful chicken breast that's left. Now, if you wanna take off the skin, 
you can certainly do that and you're left with a beautiful deboned chicken breast to eat for later, okay? So I'll set that guy aside. We'll set the skin aside as well. Same thing, next leg, drumstick, very quick. Break off, drumstick in the bone. Come back to the piece here. Make sure our bone and gristle, see that one was good because I got it all at the same time and my old skills are coming back. Chicken on the inside. Now, when I was boning back in the restaurant days, we used to take off the skin because we were using this for soups and stews and whatnot. So I wouldn't have the skin in there. It was easier for me to take it off while it was warm. But again, if you want to keep the skin on, no problem there at all. But I, I'm going to take the skin off this one so I can show you. So I'll peel it away. All my skin is gone on this guy. And then, whoa, ho, 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 TSN highlight of the night right there, baby. Anyways, I could separate the bone. So now I've got, dress this guy. This is what you get in chicken wings. You'd see it. And I pull off the meat because I'm going to be making a chicken sandwich with this guy tomorrow. Bone in. And we come back. Maybe I'll get on Sports Center with that catch of the night. There we go. We've got all that meat separated. Another bone. Going to be going into our chicken stock. And that way we've got that for a lot of great dishes. So keep your eyes out for that recipe. We're going to finish this up with a great chicken stock. But that's how to debone the chicken tonight, okay? Boom!